make a very very brief statement in relation to what has been happening uh, this afternoon. As you're all aware, we we did have problems among us ourselves in Kisangani at the beginning of this month. Following this, um, our two presidents yesterday met in Mwanza in relation to these problems and made proposals which they asked us to look at in detail. Um, it was on the basis of this meeting on Mwanza that we met here today. Chief of Staff of RPA and myself and our delegations one to discuss the proposals on the demilitarization of Kisangani as proposed and discussed in Mwanza by our two heads of states yesterday. I'm pleased to announce that um, we have looked at these proposals and we have agreed with these proposals as a way forward, as a step in the effort to demilitarize Kisangani. We have agreed that we will pull our forces at least 100 kilometers outside Kisangani. What is now going to follow is the working out of a detailed plan for this to be actualized. And I will inform you that our staff officers are now working on this detailed plan, which will then be the actualization of the actual demilitarization. So that is what we've done, and that's what is going to happen. General Kayumi. <coughs> I think uh, all has been said. Uh, we've been received very well here in the Kampar. We've had uh, very fruitful discussions. We've had uh, uh, we have agreed on <coughs> very many issues. And I think uh, what remains is the implementation. I think there is uh, the will to implement what we've agreed. And uh, I think uh, we shall continue to consult and to make sure that uh, what we've agreed has actually been actualized. Thank you. So uh, I would like to know whether the uh, how long, how soon is that, that's going to be because it is going to be very soon. How, the how pulling so out of uh, well, sequence is work is being worked on by the staff officers whom I mentioned earlier. As soon as they indicate that this sequence is ready, we will declare the D day and the actual movement will begin. But we do not believe this is going to be much longer than a week or so from now. And. Uh, In fact, have you resolved all the reason of the fights? And what exactly were the reason of the fights you had together? That was not an area of discussion today. Um, and if you leave Kisangani, you too, who will stay in Kisangani to make the difference of the city? We have agreed that for the time being we will retain residual forces of about um, two companies from UPDF and two companies from RPA until such a time that Monuk will have sufficient forces to cater for the security of Kisangani. When that happens, even these residual forces will be withdrawn. Uh, General Kayumba, we Last time when uh, there were classes in Kisangani, uh, they agreed that uh, 
Kisangani should remain at the militarized zone. So how sure are we that uh, this this implement this thing is this what you have resolved today is going to be implemented? Because we saw the last time that uh, you know people agreed that there must be areas which m must be demilitarized, and both sides apparently have uh, we don't know you have all you went back and broke the agreement you had agreed. How sure are we that this is going to hold? <coughs> Well, this time there is the third party, that is the GMC and the Monarch. Uh, we believe uh, that uh, their presence is likely to make a difference. And uh, the details <coughs> of the allocation, the allocation of the forces last time uh, were not uh, quite clear, and maybe the continuation of the monitoring and the, the insurance of making sure that there was compliance uh, was not put into account. So we believe uh, the presence of Monok and the GMC in Kisangani will certainly uh, make a difference. Uh, on our part, uh, we think uh, both the UPDF and the, and the RAP We've made now a commitment, uh, and I think uh, uh, both parties have realized that uh, there is nothing to gain in the continuing conflict in Kisangani. So I believe uh, people have learned uh, bitter lessons in Kisangani, and there is no reason why I think that will be repeated. Maybe in addition to what General Kayumba said, it was not last time agreed that we demilitarize. What was agreed was we would reduce the forces in Kisangani. This time we are saying total demilitarization, save for the, uh, the force which will be there for as long as um, the monarch are not in a position to cater for security of Kisangani. The two are different. The other time we maintained forces, but at the reduced levels. This time we are saying out except for the residual forces for a transition period also. So there is a significant difference. Uh, to know, according to the Lusaka agreement, you are supposed to leave Congo anyway, Uganda and Rwanda also. When do you think you are going to leave? I don't think I am in position to be able to say that. It is a question that can be answered by somebody much higher than myself. And in the Rwanda side? <coughs> Osaka Peace Agreement uh, has a calendar, but uh, even to some extent have changed and uh, maybe we have not been able to stick to the calendar. But the, the implementation of the Osaka Agreement is still on course. So we believe uh, in as long as the Osaka Peace Agreement continues to be pursued, obviously when, when we come to the time when the foreign forces should leave Congo, Rwanda and Uganda will certainly leave. My question was, when is the time? Well, when is the, is on when the, when the, the calendar we are pursuing, when we come to that time, then we shall go to get out. It was supposed to be in April. Yes, I told you the situation has been overtaken by events, but still the Lusaka Peace Agreement still remains in place. Uh, excuse me. Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, Brigadier and Major General, I would like to find out you probably this meeting discussed uh, the propaganda, the whole side propaganda has been in the media about one army calling uh, the other an enemy, another one saying, no, the other one, uh, we are not a battalion of UPDF. Has it been discussed? And second, uh, do we, should we really go on and write and uh, probably inform the public that there is not going to be any more fighting in Kisangani? Thanks very much. Well, yes, the question of the media has been discussed and it is contained within a joint statement that the uh, post time media propaganda should be stopped forthwith. And I believe uh, uh, people, like, uh, people should comply with that. And uh, uh, I think you should tell the people that we are not going to fight again. That's why we are militarizing. We want to be militarizing because we won't have forces in Kisangani. So since we won't have forces in Kisangani, we won't fight there again.
dia apa itu listrik. Um, I do not have anything to add. What General Kaimo said has covered it all. We have indeed agreed that um, the question of media uh, must uh, be carefully looked at and that uh, the question of inflammatory statements and so on should not be encouraged. And um, indeed, like he has pointed out, the question of the militarization of Kisangan in particular, which has been a flashpoint, is intended to minimize, if not completely eliminate, chances of another clash. Yeah. And uh, additional clashes, did you discuss that and the, what's the way forward? Well, we didn't discuss that. I think uh, the details of uh, what could have taken place in Kisangan will be discussed by the army commander at uh, an appropriate time. Maybe after you've left, we shall have to discuss that because I think this is not for the press. Uh, for the time well, that's at least for the families of the <laughs> prisoners. <laughs> yes, for the the families of the, of the prisoners will be handled by by the competent authorities, but not by the press. The competent of, uh, authorities will communicate to their families. So, but are there actually prisoners of war? Well, uh, you are bringing us back again to the, to the media. Uh, yeah. Uh, what we what we have discussed today is that because uh, excuse me, some prometers that there has been a, indeed Rwanda say that uh, actually they even paraded some people they said who are Ugandan soldiers and that? Uganda was saying they have two majors or something like that, captains and all that. Mm. Yes. Well, did you see them on the... Uh, uh, we were told, sir. You didn't? You were told? Mm. Yes, sir. Okay, so why don't we put the matter to rest uh, since we, we have agreed today that uh, uh, what could have been a... Uh, what could have been said in the press uh, could maybe try to have it and uh, stop it where it, where it had been, where it, where, it, where it had reached, and then maybe begin a new chapter. So the question of the water will use will be discussed with me and the, and the commander, and we shall certainly handle that. And uh, uh, we're calling the press reports as usual, of course, we didn't get the on-spot assessment. We've been told that the, the, air, the, air, the airport, one of the airports, Simisimi or something, has been destroyed. So how are you going to... Are you going to build a, the new airport? How are you going to access the place? Well, uh, we want to hear it from the host's mouth. <laughs> what exactly? How are you going to... Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could uh, ask Monok here, because they have been to Simisimi, and they'll tell you what they could have found, or what they could have found, and the, the state of the, of the airport. You could con contact Monok, and uh, they would give you the correct information about the state of the Simisimi today. Yeah, maybe you would give us, since you are the... Well, have you been to Kisangani? since the fighting started and uh, I wouldn't tell you that I can give you an on spot information because I haven't been to the scene. But when are you going to go there? Yeah. Well, you too, I mean. Well, I will go to Sangani when I feel it is necessary for me to go to Sangani. When would it be necessary? It's for me to decide. <laughs> when, I, when I decide to go to Sangani, then I will go. I think probably Major General would have. Uh, uh, no. How is how is Uganda's side of the airport? Is it uh, Bamboka? Are you visiting it? Well, we have agreed here 
that uh, according to our plan, we will visit Sangani along with the, the special representative Mujan and the Monarch Force Commander General Diallo. The timing of such a visit, the two of us together with the two gentlemen I've mentioned, will be determined by the progress on the ground so that we will be going to look at what is happening and assess and to satisfy ourselves that it is moving according to plan. So the time will depend on the developments on the ground. I'm sorry, but I don't understand, generals, what what means if you retreat from Kisangani, what, what will be the change anyway? Because you will still be in Congo, we will still be in a different positions, and then is it a really a solution for you too? That's a question. Come again. <laughs> is it really a solution for you to just retreat from Kisangani? How many kilometers you want? 50 kilometers, of, uh, 100 kilometers, and when? What will it change really with you, the relationship you have in Congo between Rwanda and Uganda? It's a beginning. It's a beginning. The beginning of a friendship? Yeah. Because if we have no flashpoints, the chances of tempers you know, going up and so on will be reduced. And we think that will give us a chance to make a new beginning. I have two questions. One is the deployment of troops at the two borders. We do agree on either to withdraw them or then another thing, the disruption in Sangani, what do you intend to do? First of all, one, we did not discuss the question of deployments at the borders because um, we did not feel it deserved discussion. Secondly, the question of Sangani is um, a very tricky one. When you say, what do you intend to do about the destruction? I suppose you are suggesting that uh, you, you, you like us to, to consider compensation or whatever. Is that what you're saying to say? Now, if that is your line of thinking, then um, I must say I am not competent to answer the question. Mine is the, the last one. Mm -hmm. The that. last question. Okay, yeah. <laughs> good. <laughs> is it? Um, um, thank you. I believe this is a success, a <laughs> successful story. Uh -huh. I'm just requesting that both sides, if we can have a photo, a formal photo, just that. <laughs> sure, mm -hmm. certainly you can yeah. have the photo. Yeah. But who, nobody knows who lose in this war. <laughs> Both have lost. lost. <laughs> Africa has lost. <laughs> Certainly, both of us have lost. There's no question about that. <laughs> that Maybe, what assurance are you giving to the population of the two countries? Because they are worried. Yeah, that's one yeah. thing, really. That assurance, they really need it. People are wondering as I, why. I thought, I thought General, General Kayumba said this from the very beginning. <laughs> well, the very fact that we are together here, trying to find. Solutions to this problem is in itself a very encouraging development. And uh, this is enhanced by the fact that we are here, there is no third party to facilitate our discussion, and yet we have come out with a, an agreement that we think is beneficial and uh, seeking to give us a lasting solution to the problem. That in itself should reassure our people that we, are, we have yet uh, spirit to work together. There is still the will. Uh, we could have been drained, but I think we are on course and I think uh, 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 
the leadership of both countries met yesterday in Manza and uh, immediately the forum meeting which is uh, this one we're having today has also been held. That means we, as long as we are capable of continuing to communicate, to find solutions, we believe people should be optimistic. Will there, I, 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 will there be other meetings? I think I said that uh, yeah, in my opening remarks that uh, we shall have when? other meetings. Uh, we shall continue reviewing the situation on the ground, and uh, it's from that that we shall go to the live and to have agenda, some other agenda for other meetings, but uh, some other subsequent meetings. Maybe something to, uh, the, the, the most, uh, something of concern to most Africa countries and the, actually even the world is that people didn't, could not believe that the UPDF and RPA could fight given their history of the two countries, of the two armies. Uh, really, I, as, um, as the leaders of these, these two armies, are you, feeling, uh, are you sorry for whatever, uh, whatever happened? We are here to solve a problem. Yeah. When there is a problem, then that means uh, that what has happened cannot certainly be called a positive development. So nobody really thinks that there was a, any justified reason why we should have fought. There is no reason fighting. Congo for both places and for reasons that are not very clear. So uh, I would say this is a very, very unfortunate incident. It was in the Yes. <laughs> <laughs>